And these are my naked happy girls. Everyone in San Francisco seems to be dancing to their own beat, especially in North Beach. Standing at the corner of Columbus and Broadway, I couldn't help but feel that freedom of expression is alive and kicking here on the Barbary Coast. This eclectic neighborhood is not only home to San Francisco's Little Italy, it's also the birthplace of the Beat Generation. The same streets that Ginsburg, Cassidy, and Kerouac once wandered led me to the Beat Museum to chat with its curator, Jerry Shimino. Hey, Andrew. How are you? Well, we knew we needed to put the Beat Museum in North Beach because this really was the uh, incubator for the Beat generation. They hung out at City Lights Bookstore, which is right across the street. They went to the local coffee houses around the corner, and they were literally within walking distance of this space we occupy. The Beat Museum cracked me up because it was really quaint. Every time I looked at something, I was like, what's this? Oh, that's a license plate that I got from this guy's mother's brother's sister. So, Jerry, why here in the Beat Museum are there two Playboy magazines from 1959? Well, it's funny you'd ask that, because Jack was a frequent contributor to Playboy. I think the thing that makes people come to San Francisco is a lot of things are accepted. You can literally reveal who you are. Allen Ginsberg used to get naked at parties because the poet would reveal himself to society. The attitude of the beat seemed to be, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, come join the party. 